Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay. All right. I usually don't really want to make many of these videos, um, but I just have to make a review of the Indy Roval NASCAR race overall. Um, I recently did see the Icebergs post on YouTube polls about um, what he, what we thought about it. I said good. Some people said great. Some people said bad. Some people said average. No really said below average. Personally, I thought it was a great race. But all the cons in the races, or during the race, actually, I should say, leaves it down to good. And just good. That race overall had so many pros, but so many cons. Cons. Racing, excellent. Finish, excellent. That was one of the best finishes we saw this season. But the calls in that race were beyond bad. Like, seriously, Denny Hamlin should have won that race. Now, personally, I was rooting for Chase, and um, personally, Denny Hamlin should have won that race, even though I really wasn't rooting for him. Um, I personally thought he won the race, but no. Instead, we see AJ Allmendinger, which uh, I do not have a, a 16, so... Um, I just have a, a 47. I know that's Ricky Stenhouse now, but pretend that's AJ Allmendinger because that's actually one of his cars. It's uh, his 2018 car. So yeah, then we got Blaney, Larson, Ch Chase Elliott. And if you guys are wondering why I'm doing it on a football field, I'm recording a video that you guys probably all know of that um, will be coming out hopefully soon. Um, um, I plan to have the premiere up by next week. Weekend, I should say. Probably next Saturday, hopefully. That'll be whole. That's what I'm hoping to put it out. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Yeah. Um. The calls in that race were so bad, and the cautions on how long it took for the race. The race just felt like it just dragged on. The race took an hour longer, pretty much, for it to go on. Because of how long they took to do it, the race had to go to NBCSN. It was they shut it off from normal cable. Or just put it on normal cable. They didn't, they took it off like the normal air and put it on cable. So because of that, I gotta put this race in only good, at best. Honestly, I can't say it was a great race because of that. There were just so many cons that made it good, but the race itself, though, I gotta say was great. But the cons, like the calls and stuff like that, no. Yeah, I also put in some random diecasts there. I put, like, Austin Dillon, Logano, Byron, some, like, the big names that spun out there that were involved in, like, the big wrecks that I have diecasts of. But, uh, yeah. Overall, I gotta say, that was a very interesting race, but definitely not one of the better races, honestly, that we saw this season because of the calls. Racing was good. The calls, awful. Like, this is my main issue about this season. We have been getting a lot of bad calls in NASCAR lately, and they need to really get their head in the game here. Because this season was supposed to be the best season ever, and honestly, I can't really see why they're doing that when we're just getting a huge letdown because of all the calls we're getting. These calls we've been having lately are terrible. NASCAR, up your game, please. 